Good morning. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm here in El Nido, Palawan, and I am heading to Quran. I've been here for five days and it is time to move on. Me and all my 20 million kilos and guitar. I'm really gonna have to shed some weight because this is getting ridiculous now. But I'm a hoarder back in the UK and I'm a hoarder traveling too, apparently. So I booked the boat to Quran from my hostel. Um, there's a fast boat and a slow boat. I'm getting the slow boat because it's a little bit cheaper. And the fast boat left at like five in the morning. Six is a little bit more manageable. Um, and this one's gonna take about six, seven hours to get over to Quran. Just got off to the boat, it's about seven hours bang on, and at one point it was pretty choppy and pretty bumpy. I didn't get seasick, um, I'm very stubborn about that, but today I did feel a little bit queasy. I managed to find a spot to lie down and watch a bit of Netflix on my iPad, so it wasn't too bad. It was very lazy, normally I'd be productive and film edit or practice guitar or something, but today I just watched TV. Um, once again, I haven't found anywhere to stay yet, story of my life, but I'm pretty sure there is a hostel nearby that I can go to. I'm just walking a little bit away from the port, um, just because experience has told me that if you try and get a trike by an airport or a ferry port or whatever, usually they'll overcharge you just because they know you're looking for one and there's lots of people looking for one. So I'm just walking a little bit, which is a lot with this heavy luggage, but I don't know, I need to stretch my legs anyway because I've been on that boat for seven hours. And the weather isn't too great. It's not raining as such right now, but it's uh, humid from residual rain. But it's not cold like it is in England, so that's a good thing. I'm a bit tired of walking after a while, so I've got myself a tricycle for 20 pesos to the Fat Monkey Hostel, which is the only one that I can find on Hostel World right now. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Ten minutes tricycle ride outside the town of Quran. We have Fat Monkey Hostel. I don't know what this place is going to be like. I haven't checked it out. I don't even know the prices. But sometimes that's the most fun way to find out where you're staying. This is my room. She's called Susan. That, as you can see, is your fairly basic average hostel room. This is my bed, number 32, where the magic does or does not happen. I'm just gonna chill and unpack and get de sweaty and then I think later I'm gonna head into town. First, a little beer and a little bit of guitar and then I will head out. Okay, good morning. Last night I uh, went into town and got some food, checked out a reggae bar, but of course I didn't take my camera out because I wanted to just have a night off. And when I got back, the security guard was drinking straight up rum, which is how they do it here. So I was doing shots with him and doing a little bit of guitar. He was teaching me a little bit, which was fun. What's crazy is when I was back in the UK, I very much thought I was like an extroverted person. I rely on other people for my energy source and I like to be around people all the time. But I'm noticing more and more and the happier I get, I actually have some introverted tendencies too. So today I really just want to spend a day on my own, which is so weird. I never used to like doing that, but it can be a little exhausting socializing all the time. So I think I'm gonna go head to town, have a nice coffee or some brunch or something like that, get my gay on and use some internet because it is few and far between. And then I'm gonna get a motorbike and just go exploring with my headphones in, find a nice spot to sit and practice the guitar for a little while, maybe meet some locals and hang out. So I've just been quoted a price of 800 pesos for 24 hours motorbike rental, which is pretty expensive by Southeast Asian standards. It's not too outrageous for here in the Philippines because it is kind of the same price everywhere. But um, yeah, in like Thailand, you can rent a bike for 24 hours for like two or three pounds. It's literally nothing. Here it's not quite like that. So I'm gonna shop around, see if I can find a little bit cheaper, but I'm still gonna end up doing it eventually. Just got myself a motorbike. 600 pesos for 24 hours, not too bad. Today I've gone for a semi-automatic, which is a plot twist. I've not driven one before, but I really like this bike. I've seen it everywhere. They're pretty powerful and they've got bigger wheels than the normal scooters. And a semi's pretty cool because it's better for going up and down the hills and stuff. So let's give it a go. Just a quick gas stop, but I've driven two minutes down the road on this bad boy and I'm absolutely bloody in love with it. I think I'm gonna have to get one of these when I do buy a motorbike in Vietnam because it is a really, really nice ride. I'm about 30 minutes into this cycle around uh, Quran, but it has now started tipping it down. So I'm sheltering from the rain um, because it's like 
little icicles and little needles when you're going pretty pretty quickly. Um, pretty high up in the hills slash mountain now, and it's a super beautiful ride, uh, especially when the sky's blue. But gonna wait for this to stop first, and then I'll carry on on my journey. Really, really tipping it down like a monsoon right now. We got some baby goats coming to escape the rain. <laughs> Are they going to share the shower with us? I think so. Oh, they're scared. Bless. Oh, the rain is starting to slow down now. I think I'm going to carry on and wait until it's actually stopped though because I'm still soaking from being out in the rain before and I don't fancy getting wetter. <laughs> I've now been riding for about five hours, which is a lot, I know. Um, I decided to go on a tour all around the entire island, around the outside, because there's a road that goes all the way around. At least Google Maps said there was a road. However, it turned out at least 50% of it, there wasn't road at all. It was just like rocks and bumps and hills like up like that and then down like that. So it was pretty crazy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend if you're not an experienced rider at all, but it was also a lot of fun and very, very beautiful and super cool to get out of all kinds of tourism and built up civilization and just see like, you know, little villages and school children and whatnot. But yeah, the ride was uh, was tough. I did nearly come off a couple of times, but take it slow and make sure you're in the right gear and it's a lot easier. But the sad thing is, because I didn't take my GoPro, once again, I have no footage of the day's worth of riding. So there was some really beautiful stuff, but if I stopped everywhere, it would have been, you know, not five hours, but 20 million hours. And for half the time I was soaking wet. I have now dried off, thankfully, and thankfully I didn't have to do the, the non-road bit in any rain because that would have been impassable and I don't know what I would have done. I'd have probably got stranded. But uh, yeah, it's nice and dry now and I've dried off, so that's good. Wow, I literally just got back to my hostel. I'm exhausted. The last half hour, 40 minutes, I was really thinking like, when am I gonna get there? It's been a long ass day. Um, and driving in the dark with the mosquitoes like flying into your face like needles, that's not too fun. Um, and sometimes you can't see very well because the roads aren't good and other stuff. Actually, I'm covered in like, dead mosquitoes now, which is fun. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Follow my social media links down below. And until next time, I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.